state to a Christian uh, oligarchy to a high-tech industrial democracy can get together and agree that psychedelics are a terrible, terrible thing is because the social effect of psychedelics being taken by large numbers of people is a kind of deconditioning from the cultural myth. Whatever they are, it's no knock on any given society. Mm -hmm. It's just that if people start taking psychedelics, they start questioning uh, what they've been told about reality. And culture is in the business of keeping you inside a set of predetermined answers to those questions. Well, based, based on that then, uh, adherence, perhaps uh, uh, legalization day is 2012. Well, there you go, Art. There's an apocalypse that would shake our world and leave the heavens intact. <laughs> <laughs> the day that drug war ends. Yes. Uh, first time caller line, you're on the air with Terrence McKenna on the big island of Hawaii. Hello. Hi, Art. Hi, where are you? I actually am also from San Francisco. Okay. So it uh, seems to be San Francisco night for the last two yeah, calls. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Nor am I. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to tell you up front, I am a professional stand-up comedian, and uh, I guess sort of in the vein of Lenny Bruce, so I do a lot of research, and I've read a lot of uh, your writings, Mr. McKenna, uh, including Archaic Revival, Invisible Landscape, and also, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, the CD that you have that you did with Space Time Continuum. Oh, yeah, the Alien Dream Time. Yeah, yeah. which was very fun. And uh, I'm also familiar with Mr. Sheldrake's writings as well. And I would say to the 25% uh, dissenter faxes that you've been receiving, Art, that uh, they are probably saying that because they're not familiar with a lot of what Mr. McKenna is saying. Uh, well, I, and a lot of them never will be. It will it'll go right past them, and they hear one thing only, and they see devils. And, right. you know, that's okay. Right. As, well, actually, Ed, in, in relation to what you're saying there, I would say the gentleman who uh, considered Mr. McKenna to be in league with Satan, that uh, the truth does not have an ideological agenda or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, my question to you is, uh, you're familiar with the writings of John Lilly? Sure. Um uh, in my neighborhood, there's actually an isolation tank center, and I regularly go down there with, with mushrooms, and I'll hop into the tank while I'm doing mushrooms and whatnot. Uh, I'm very fascinated by your writings on DMT, and what I'd like to know is how would I be able to locate uh, DMT or the plant that it comes there from? Now, I don't know that we can tell that on the air. <laughs> Well, we can say something. We've already said it's right behind your eyebrows. Right. So that's one thing. Uh -huh. uh, the other thing is the real practical answer is go to the Internet in terms of if you want to locate plants in your ecosystem. There you uh, go. There's vast discussion of this and incredible enthusiastic communities uh, but as Art says uh, we've already pushed the envelope. I yep. don't think we can start peddling Schedule 1 substances on the air, nor would we <laughs> wish to. Nor, nor, nor would you want me to, sir because then you might not hear me anymore. Um, right. However, it's on the internet. Right. Look, it's a lot less dangerous than a lot of the other crap on the internet. Uh, building missiles and bombs and all the rest of that. So, uh, can you, uh, well, can I ask you this? Can you give use me a search? What I, what use I, use a search engine. Right. All right. All right. Thanks uh, a lot. That's what they're there for. <laughs> uh, wild card line. You're on the air with Terrence McKenna. Hello. Wow. I actually got through. Yes, sir. It seems that way. Where are you? I'm in Madison, Wisconsin. All right. Go right Another ahead. Another hot day. Well, uh, first of all, Art, I just wanted to say about a year ago I talked to you and you were telling me that. I was doing myself a lot of harm by using psychedelics. And I think Terrence is just good proof that someone can turn out all right. No, I didn't tell you that. Oh. I didn't tell you you were doing yourself a lot of harm. Uh, I thought you did. Nope. No? I wouldn't make that judgment. That That's that's something that only you can conclude. I see. But uh, also, I want to make a suggestion for a guest. I think Terrence might be familiar with them, but have you ever heard of Douglas Rushkoff? Oh, yeah, I know Doug. Yeah. yeah, I've read many of his books. And just, just what like he a... needs, more publicity. <laughs> 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 I think he's just a great guy. And All right, uh, anything else? Uh, yes, uh, Terrence, I have a video called uh, Alien Dreamtime. Yeah. I just want to say I really like it. 
Oh, yeah, well, that's a thing I did a few years ago with a band called Space Time Continuum, yeah. Yeah, um, what was the, uh, what, what was the essence of it, Terrence? Uh, well, it was, uh, it was a rave in San Francisco, and I talked about, if you can imagine this, I talked about the impact of psilocybin on human evolution, uh, to a backbeat. This is something we haven't gotten into here, Art, but I have a whole other rap on uh, how uh, mushrooms actually impacted and caused uh, the breakthrough to self-reflecting human consciousness. We'll have to save that one for another time. Um, I guess so. Um, interesting. East of the Rockies, you're on the air with Terrence McKenna. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, Larry in Peoria, Illinois. Hi, Larry. Um, I had, uh, this is really very interesting uh, because I just recently read some of the excerpts from The Psychedelic Experience by Timothy Leary, which is his uh, take on the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Mm -hmm. um, and I missed the first part of the show, so I'm sorry if this has already been talked about, but I was wondering what uh, is basically the difference between DMT and LSD. Good question. Well, LSD lasts hours and hours and tends to be, I think my own phrase is abrasively psychoanalytic. Essentially, I think LSD does what a psychedelic, what most people think psychedelic drugs do. Uh, they cause you to review past memories, they cause you to see your life in a different light, so forth and so on. DMT is not like that. It, seems to go beyond the personal dimension. It doesn't matter, I think, who you are or where you started from. It carries you into its own world, a world that is alien on its own terms and doesn't have a lot of information in it about your psychology or your dilemmas. So it, it's uh, less useful for psychoanalysis and more useful for exploring what I consider to be uh, pretty dramatic paranormal dimensions, considering they're so easily accessed. Mm -hmm. uh, you're speaking about, it, it's interesting all this talk about dimensions and going to the next level. Um, I just had a, a psychic, a, a psychedelic experience recently when um, I had a meditation on the nature of the universe as being um, like a geometric uh, geometric structure that that's so immensely more um, vast and and diverse than than I, you can really explain. Um, well, I think you know there's the vastness of space and time that we know about, but then as we look into the micro dimension and we see how much there is uh, in the atomic and subatomic world i mean the world is an amazing and dynamic place and oh, is. This, this is why i'm so down on ideologies because i think they're they're dusty mirrors to hold up to the splendor of the felt presence of the of the living universe uh here's a i believe mckenna quote quote Western civilization is a loaded gun pointed at the head of the, this planet, unquote. Yep. Yep. Western civilization is a loaded gun pointed at the head of this planet. And what I think I was referring to there was resource extraction, uh, uh, propaganda, pollution of the atmosphere and uh, and this sort of thing if we continue to practice our cultural values as we have practiced them over the next thousand years we're going to make the earth unfit for our children which is a, a sin and a tragedy of such magnitude we don't even have a name for it boy i sure agree with that and then this uh, quote, LSD is a drug that occasionally causes psychotic behavior in persons that have not taken it. Uh, Terrence McKenna, quoting Tim Leary in Los Angeles in 1991. Accurate? Uh, well, I tried to give that quote to Tim, and he swore to me he'd never said that. So it's sort of hanging out there in the air, but it's a very funny quote because... I think it makes clear to people how agitated you can become by drugs you haven't taken <laughs> and how often the people who have the most negative drug reactions are the people who didn't take the drug. <laughs> uh -huh, you are a heretic. Uh, and, and just one last, as we head toward the bottom of the hour, 
Uh, the mind rests on a foundation of chemical machinery. Yes. It rests on a foundation of chemical machinery. It is not simply the product of chemical machinery any more than I am an automobile.